Hello once again, welcome back, and it's time for some more Nerdle, as you may have guessed. Um, starting, as always, with just the regular Nerdle, and what are we going to do with this? We could do 32 over 8, then we need to minus 3, perhaps, in order to get the 1 in. So that uses duplicated 3s, which I don't like. But we do already know that there's a 3, a 2, and an 8, so it's worth trying those in new positions, I think. Okay, so there is a divide, but not in that position. So, I mean, it could be 6 minus 32 over 8, because we could have, we haven't got duplicated 3s, but we could still have a duplicated 2. And it tries a new number in the 6, so let's go with that. Ooh. So it's something minus 4, so it's either going to be 4 minus that in the middle equals 0, or 8 minus that in the middle equals 4. I mean, it really could be either, so this is genuinely a 50-50 guess, I believe. But we'll know for sure either way after we've done this. And it was that. It's always nice to get 50-50s right on the first puzzle. Let's see if that continues. It's been a while since it took me five, so actually I'm pleased that I got that in six. I'd have been a little bit disappointed if it had taken me five. Um, whereas on the other hand, because we've now got two puzzles to solve simultaneously in the binary, oh, this may well take me five. But having said that, we've got a lot of information to go on. Now the bottom one has got a minus, but not there, so it can't be a two-digit number minus a two-digit number. It can't be something minus something plus something, because we wouldn't be able to get into the twenties. So it has to be, I guess, something times something minus something, so five... Now it can't be five times seven minus three, so we're going to have to use one of the different digits. Um, 4 times 7, I like the sound of that because that's 28 and then we can take away the 5 and that uses, sorry, take away the 3 and that will use the 5 as well. Now I was going to say it could be 7 times 4, so that was a 50-50 at best, but obviously um, it was far from it. I think it's going to be 5 times 6 or 6 times 5 minus 3 to get the 27 at the end. But that's a 50-50, so I'm going to try focusing on the top one to see what that gives us. Now, the equals is in the wrong place, so that might be a two-digit number times a one-digit number giving us a three-digit result, which are always, I find, the hardest. The three-digit answers with multiplication or division always seem to be the hardest. So... What are we going to do? If it doesn't end in 5, we're not going to be multiplying by something ending in 5, unless we need a 0. But whichever combination of two digits we choose, so we know that it's got a 2, a 4, a 7, and an 8, and any pair of those doesn't give the third result, which is a bit annoying. So if we had an 8 in there, then we could assume that it's going to be 4 times 2 as the units, but it's clearly not. Um, we could use a 1 and a 6 as well. I don't like any of that. It may well have to end in a 0. Oh, what I said a minute ago was completely nonsensical, wasn't it? We could have 7 times a 2-digit number ending in 2 gives a 3-digit number ending in 4. <laughs> right, sorry. What's it going to be, though? What's 7 times 12 is obviously not big enough. 7 times 22 would be um, 154. That's actually not a bad attempt, because it uses a new digit, and it uses all of the digits that we know we have to use. Oh, the times was not there. That was, that was foolish. Oh, well, uh, so on the bottom we now know for sure that it ends in 27, so it is going to be 5 times 6, but we still don't know which way round, unfortunately. 
so let's focus on the top one. So that's going to be the 2. So it's going to be 104, which means that has to be the 7. If this is not the 5, then that is the 5. So it's 114. That's going to be completely certain on the top, I believe. And it's going to tell us which way around the bottom one goes. Yeah, the 5 goes first, so it's 5 times 6. That was very convenient. There we go. Solved it in 5. Um, right, how quickly are we going to be able to do this today? So it's got some division, so 49 over 7 perhaps, that is 7. Ah, so it can't be that. If it was a minus instead of a plus, um, then we'd have solved it. What is the division going to be? 42 over 7? No. Uh, 45 over 9 it's going to be, because that gives us 5 plus 2 equals 7. There we go. 26 seconds is never a bad time. Oh, we've got lots of information here. So the plus is not right, so I'm going to assume that it's it's simply something like that to give a result beginning with a 1. And in fact, that's a great shell because we haven't used the 9. Okay, so that is not it. Oh, so the answer doesn't end, doesn't begin with 1, so actually it's going to be times at the start probably because we want to get some higher digits. So 8 times 6, that's 48. We haven't used the 3, so we'll use it now because that gives us an answer of 51, both of which are digits we need to use. And that's still not right. I was fairly confident that that might be... to have the multiplication right as well, but still not have the right sum. Um, so it can't be 8 times 1, because then the answer would need to begin with 1. So the 1 has to be there. The answer has to be 65, because the 6 and the 5 can't go here. So it has to be 8 times 8. There we go. We restricted that quite well in the end. It's a shame it took us four guesses to get there. Uh, right, let's move on to the mini. What do we think we should do today? How about 6 times 7? Because I thought of it for the other puzzle. Ooh, 8 times 6 perhaps? I think it has to be, because it can't be 46 as a result. There we go. Always nice to get it in 2. Would be nicer to get it in 1 one day, but I think that's pushing it a little bit too far. Oh, and we've got really close to getting it in 1 on this one. <laughs> Although then we would still have very little idea what the other one is. So, I mean, there are still several options for the top one. It could be 40 divided by 5, which is what I'm going to try. But it could also be 48 divided by um, 6. And I'm sure there are one or two other possibilities. But that one turns out to be the correct one. So that's the mini solved in just three attempts, which is about as good as you could ever hope to get it, but apparently I've done it 11 times before. One day I'll get that elusive too, but probably not any time soon. Um, and we'll finish off with the micro. How about we introduce some division? It feels unlikely to be correct, and indeed it turns out to have been a foolish attempt, so we'll try some subtraction instead. And in fact, if it is subtraction, this will tell us whether it's, if it's 5 minus 3 or 7 minus 5 or 9 minus 7, we'll know for sure on the next guess. It <laughs> helps if I, oh dear, 7 minus 5 is not 3. And it's not even minus. And it's not divided. So it could be times, it could be 1 times 2. Is it just going to be 1 plus 1 equals 2? The very simplest of sums. It is. Wow. It took me as many guesses to get that as it took me to solve two mini nerdles. That's deceptively hard, even though it's such a short sum. But that's the full set complete. So thank you for watching, and bye for today.